What's up? Today we're making a responsive R2-D2 voice. He can chirp. He can whimper. He can scream. He can growl. Or just go wild. Here's how it works. We start with a sine wave. Now you could just set this to play random frequencies and call it a day. Honestly, it sounds pretty close. But we're after something a little more flexible and responsive. So let's go a little further. R2's voice isn't just a sine wave. There are grumbles and gurgles that a sine wave just can't capture. This is because of timbre, or tone color. Timbre is the unique quality of a sound, as determined by its overtones. A sine wave is too simple to create anything more complex than a pure tone, so we need to dirty up that tone, and the microcorg has just the trick. Using cross modulation, we can create an aggressive, metallic tone. We'll add slight cross mod to our bass wave, and then assign our wheel to add more when we need it. Now we can alter R2's timbre based on how he's feeling. Maybe he's muttering to himself, or excited, or discouraged. Now that we've got the timbre right, we can focus on the pitch. Add some envelope modulation to sharpen the onset of each note. This adds that characteristic chirpiness. For final touches, extend the bend range to 8 to 12 semitones, and assign velocity to control pitch. This way, unless you can play every note with identical pressure, you'll have unavoidable pitch randomness. And there you have it, instant R2-D2. I'll toss the patch parameters into the description so you can droid it up at home. If you like the video, subscribe, why not? For bonus content and other behind-the-scenes footage, support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash thatbeat. Happy Star Wars Day, and may the Force be with you.